Welcome to this edition of Tour Confidential on Golf.com. I'm Jessica Marksbury and I'm delighted to be joined by a trio of Sports Illustrated writers in our New York City studio, Michael Bamberger, Alan Shipnuck, and Gary Van Sickle. Welcome guys, it's a big moment for Tiger Woods right now. We're still not sure if he's going to play the Masters this year. And Michael, just how diminished would the Masters tournament be without Tiger? Not at all. The Masters was a great tournament before Tiger Woods. It was a great tournament with Tiger Woods, and it will continue to be a great event without Tiger Woods. I like how firm you are in that opinion. What do you think, Alan? I mean, it has been 10 years since Tiger won the Masters, so I think that we can, we can survive without him. But there would be a, sort of a freak show element if he were to show up. I mean, the, watching a guy with the yips around Augusta National it would be fascinating. And if it's Tiger Woods, it would be incredible theater. So I'd feel a little cheated if we don't get that experience, but if he doesn't show, it'll, it'll be just fine. Gary, we've, we've talked about this uh, about a week or so ago, about this, this very same topic, you know, whether or not the Masters needs Tiger, but it seems like there's a lot of great storylines out there, even without him, obviously Rory going for the career Grand Slam. What are your thoughts? I'm sure Alan likes to watch NASCAR too, for the same reason he likes to watch Tiger Chip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look, Tiger's a big deal. He's been the biggest deal in golf for 20 years. It's a big story until Thursday morning. Once the first tee shots hit, somebody's winning the Masters, somebody's losing the Masters, and it doesn't matter who's not playing. It only matters who is playing. So we'll, we will miss Tiger and all he brings if he doesn't play, but uh, new heroes and legends will be made. God, that sounds like a CBS commercial, <laughs> but that's really what happens. Thursday's st story at the end of the day is going to be somebody shot 67 today, and wow, they're leading. It's not going to be where, why Tiger Woods isn't playing. So we'll miss him, but we won't miss him. Cue the creepy music. I was just going to say that. Where's the <laughs> piano music? Do, 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 do. But I can't help but think, as far as Tiger's career is concerned, this, is, this would be an incredibly bad sign if he doesn't show up at Augusta, don't I you don't think? I don't agree, Jess, because uh, you can come back from things in life and in golf uh, generally. And but if aren't he's got we waiting a long time right now for Tiger mm -hmm. to come back? There, there's no reason to think that this is not a passing storm. Um, if he wants to figure it out, I think he will figure it out. It might take uh, it might take time, but I'd be shocked if this is the end of Tiger Woods, even if he doesn't play this year. I don't know. I disagree. I mean, 2010, his, his life is in ashes. It's the scandal is still raging, and he still showed up and played the Masters. That's how much it meant to him. He couldn't bear to miss the Masters. If he doesn't come this year when he's theoretically healthy, I think it tells you that. The, the, the scar tissue is much deeper than we can imagine. To, to voluntarily skip the tournament that has defined him, I think will tell us that Tiger's in worse shape than we, we really think. Well, he, he says he, he, he plays to win, and if he doesn't show up, it means he doesn't think he can win. For me, the telling thing was he came out in Phoenix and had the terrible week and the chipping yips and all that, and you sort of assume Tiger would go spend the week practicing chipping and fixing it, and it turns out he went to watch Lindsey Vonn ski race and he showed up in Torrey Pines, and you know, to me that tells me where his mind is. It's golf isn't number one anymore, and where that leads him, I don't know, but I'm with Alan. If, if he doesn't play in a Masters, that means he's not interested in it anymore. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's not interested five years from now and 10 that, years oh, from yeah, now. Oh yeah, you can, you're allowed to change your mind, I, I believe, but how I'm many, guy, how many, how many great players who lost their games, whether it was Seve or Sandy Lyle, any of them, how many who lost their games ever got it back? And I, the answer is zero. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but I, I don't think it's interest. I, I think it's. I think he would love to come back and be Tiger Woods. Right. But I just don't know if he, he can find that within himself anymore. Hmm. Chip yips are a very serious condition, it seems. So Gary, Alan, and Michael, thank you so much for your time and insight. We know one thing: with or without Tiger, we're certainly still looking forward to the Masters. We'll see you right back here next week for another edition of Tour Confidential on Golf.com. <laughs>